come alive for the students, end quote. And this, Dr. Cody is a class act himself. He seems to do all this lecturing without looking at a note so that he engages the students by his direct interaction with them. As his students and colleagues can attest, Joe has been a devotee of educational technology in the form of the videotape for many years. <laughs> he has tapes on every conceivable historical subject. So many so that a colleague told us that, quote, were there a PhD in tapeology, Joe would have <laughs>
forge new initiatives in finance, medicine, law, teaching, technology, and management that will put all Americans back to work and at the same time give us a better shot at feeding the hungry, sheltering the homeless, healing the sick, and caring for children. Do things not because they're easy, but because they are a challenge. Unfortunately, in today's society, all mighty convenience rules and hard work is to be avoided at all costs. It's your generation that has to do this work, because it's you who have the eyes to see new solutions. Computers are great tools for the realization of our dreams, but they'll never replace the dreamers. No machine can replace the human spark. Spirit, compassion, love, and understanding. It's easy to make a buck, but harder to make a difference. Please, don't be the type of person who gets all A's, but flunks ordinary living. If you fall down from time to time, get up and try again. Even if failure, amazing things will happen. One individual who fits into this ca uh, category is a kind of role model and one of my favorite people. He once failed in business as a clothing salesman, and he later went on and became president of the United States. Some of us, well over 50 years old, have very clear personal memories of his years in the White House. His name was Harry Truman. Now, Truman was the type of guy who worked less to ingratiate himself with people, but he succeeded at it better than most other important public figures. He did it because he was so completely honest with and about himself, so free from what we call show, side, put on. It mattered precious little uh, to him whether anyone liked what he was or was not. Harry Truman was an ordinary man without any special endowments of genius, intellect, or charm. His strength really lay in his ability to do the best he could with what he had and not to despair over what he didn't have. Now, one day in April in 1952, at his 300th press conference, President Truman, uh, to explain his decision not to seek renomination, said to many of the same reporters, uh, whom he had asked eight years previously to pray for him after the sudden death of FDR, he said, I tried my best to, do, to give the nation everything I have in me. There are a great many people, I suppose a million in this country, who could have done the job better than I did, but I had the job and I had to do it. Truman continued, I always remember an epitaph, which is in the cemetery at Tombstone, Arizona. It says, here lies Jack Williams, he done his damnedest. That's the greatest epithet a person can have when he gives everything that's in him to do the job he has before him, and that's all you can ask of him. And like Harry Truman, that's what I ask you to do, you damnedest. Do your best and be patient. Don't be anxious about credit due to you. Forget yourself and let others remember success is much better that way. Keep true to your dreams. Continue your great job. Have a superlative semester. Congratulations to you all, and thanks again.
Christine, go. Yeah. 